uh, we're on to day four and uh, I've just climbed the hill up to uh, Maze Aladdin's cave for a resupply and it's just a, a brilliant old shop it's like stepping back 50 odd years uh, so open all hours it's about 8 o'clock on a Sunday morning which is open and it's fantastic, love it um, so 15 miles to go today absolutely chucked it down overnight as you can probably tell by the water on the road um, and looks like quite a tough one today uh, but I'm just going to plod and get there pack is repacked so redistributed the weight a little bit that's made a big difference um, so uh, I was absolutely shattered when I got in last night just with the well, you can see Studley Pike across there just with the, the climb out uh, finished me off so not too bad at the moment we'll see how we get on catch you a bit later But uh, just like that, we're up on the moor. Climb up from the campsite is bad enough. But uh, yeah, uh, I'm glad I didn't have to <laughs> climb up from the very bottom this morning. That would have been a killer. So. Clouds lifted a bit, um, although there is rain forecast from maybe about two o'clock onwards. So, pretty sure I'm gonna get wet. Uh, I've not really had a good look at the map, but I think we're going straight over the top of this lot over the other side. But, uh, this morning, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna need it. <sighs> this morning was a struggle getting up. Rain was lashing down on the tent. Uh, it's at five o'clock this morning, and uh, <laughs> which made it very, very difficult to get out the sleeping bag and get changed back into my walking gear. Uh, so, uh, really was a tough, to, tough effort to get going this morning, but uh, yeah, this makes it worthwhile. Anyway, I'm just going to keep plodding on for the moment. So uh, maybe got it down to 14 miles. <laughs> section over the moor has been quite good. I got myself into a nice rhythm here and it's a fairly easy trail uh, but with the rain overnight you can see how quickly uh, this just turns into bog in places. There's a good stretch of flagged path a little further back but uh, 
yeah I, I'm enjoying this this morning but uh, God I was really struggling just to get going today I don't know why um, in all honesty I was a, a little bit emotional this morning probably still am a little bit um, I'm warning I'm going to talk about cats just ye yesterday I think I was so focused on the distance the set, it was about 17 miles in the end everything else sort of goes from your head um, you're, you just get so focused on that and uh, I never really thought about Gilbert at all yesterday but um, this morning he kind of came crashing uh, into my thoughts uh, and that was quite difficult um, I know he's <laughs> people will say what you're on about it's just a cat but um, he was far more than that to me and to be honest if you <laughs> whoa not good if you gave me the choice of winning the Euro Millions jackpot or having him back healthy uh, there's only one winner and I'd do anything to get him back and uh, 10 years isn't old for a cat but uh, I got pushed through this at the moment um, you know, I, and it's not great to let thoughts dwell on that but uh, I mean one of one of the other things as well and uh, I'll, I'll, uh, the reasons I've been getting help from my mental health I never understood what the problem was for so long um, and it's anxiety uh, and it's debilitating um, because you worry about everything it's um, there's no reason for it but you know I think I, again this morning it was very much worrying about how am I going to get through this day it's 15 miles it's a long way um, it's one of the days with the most ascent on it um, and all of these things go through your mind uh, you know I, I got in last night and I could barely move I was struggling to uh, to move about this morning Look, but you loosen up quite quickly once you're on the trail uh, the campsite didn't help because it was on a bloody great big hill um, so I tried to move my, my gear down to somewhere uh, sheltered while I brought down the tent and a couple of trips just going up and down that hill <laughs> this morning um, you know did my breakfast and and I really was sitting there thinking am I going to be able to do this um, and I'm away I've done what I'm, I've done at least two miles, maybe three, I've no idea, my phone's uh, stuck away in the backpack somewhere um, and it is, it's great this morning um, but it's just as well there was very little reception down at that pub this morning because I would have been very very tempted to phone a taxi um, uh, and I, if I'd done that actually that would have made things a lot worse because uh, I would know I would have skipped a stage and I would have felt guilty about it um, but anyway 
I'll stop wittering for the moment uh, and uh, try and crack on because I do still have a fair distance to go today so probably a good 13, 12, 13 miles I would expect path is just dropping down on these old flags and uh, God knows how long they've been here but they've actually got a rut in them I'm wondering if this was maybe an old pack horse route but this is just spectacular out of nowhere down at the bridge across wow hidden in this landscape and you can't see them until you're actually in them but uh, stunning, absolutely stunning um, there's a red kite up there uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see it on the screen but it's getting mobbed by everything and anything the curlews, oyster catchers the uh, lapwings crows were having a go as well <laughs> it's getting it pretty sore uh, you can hear the oyster catchers doing the nuts and, uh, up all the time little short road section but yeah really enjoying this today so far uh, and I'm glad of that especially after how I felt this morning I think it's, it's possibly as well just because, because I'm a little overweight um, body's beginning to change into fat burning mode that might be part of it slog up this hill but uh, oh, concentrate on walking here's the payoff wowzers oh. I think this is Top Withens and uh, apparently it was the inspiration for Wuthering Heights this is Bronte country uh, this place all around now I'm expecting it to get a bit busy it's a 
Sunday afternoon, so I guess there'll be a few literary fans up here, but what a landscape. Ah, it was worth it for the slog up the hill. This is just a gorgeous section of path. Um, dropping down into the valley again. Excuse me, my mouth is full of aniseed balls at the moment. Um, but I don't know if you can see over there. The heat's picked up a bit. Um, as well so yeah it's getting a bit warm again uh, I've just got to get over this hill and in front of us that'll take us down to uh, Ickenshaw seems to meander down and it drops to the uh, bottom of the valley oh, lovely ah, just straight through the mud stuff it unfortunately now at the bottom of the valley I've got to climb up the other side
that's the farm there just right in front with the uh, the hut or the caravan uh, I'm beginning to forget what words are uh, so yeah heck of a climb and we've still got more to go out onto the moor the ever changing landscape back out onto Moorland oh. we're still climbing um, <laughs> once we get to the top I think I've got about five kilometres to go so maybe around three miles uh, but I have no idea what time it is um, I think I'll have a good break at the top of this hill um, because I'm finding the descents as difficult as the ascents this isn't too bad actually um, it's been more long steady climbs today well, there's been a lot of it uh, but I don't mind that so much um, and the ground's been pretty easy going as well where it's been boggy it's been slabbed which is great um, so overall a pretty good day so far oh. don't know how much of this you'll be able to see it's quite hazy now there's been a few spots of rain uh, hills in the distance are covered in mist a little bit uh, there's a trig point up there I don't think we quite get up to it so we bypass it slightly uh, but still going up very gently and that should be the top of the hill for me and it hopefully it'll be downhill all the way to the campsite um, but it is bleak up here really not so bad in good weather like this but uh, driving rain snow these crazy people in the spine race do it in January it must be horrific up here and they're running the whole Pennine way Yeah, so I'm going to have a good break once I eventually get to the top of this. Uh, sit and enjoy the view, I think. Um, but uh, I'm feeling okay, actually. Not a little bit weary, the legs are a little bit heavy, but um, you know, I thought I would be absolutely shattered uh, at this point considering the, what, what was like the first two days so um, cautiously optimistic we're only on day four uh, but, and I think I've got a relatively short day tomorrow to Gargrave maybe about 11 miles or so um, so I can take that easy absolutely no rush to get away in the morning Done with the climbing. Not much up here. Haze is really down. That dropping down into this valley, this looks to be gorgeous again.
just beautiful views coming off the moors. And again, one of these just roller coaster paths. The heat just now has become really oppressive. There are thunderstorms forecast from out there, so I think this is building now. Um, wouldn't be surprised if I get a bang or two fairly soon. Carbeth huts on the West Highland Way. Um, a heck of a lot of them, but certainly no vehicle access. Um, no way they're getting up here in a car. Maybe a quad bike. But uh, some of them look pretty blooming uh, well built. Well, that one's a bit ramshackle, but yeah, some of them pretty uh, decent buildings. So this is the worst part of the day for me, it's coming down. Really feeling it now. Um, I've only got maybe a couple of kilometres left, but it's, it is a struggle at the moment. I just hope I'm not go having to go up that. I'll cry if I do. I think that's our aiming point for today, just the village down there. So I've got about a kilometre left and I've just had the first rattle of thunder. Quite a good bang. Not seen any lightning. Uh, seemed a bit of a distance away. But uh, pretty sure there's a couple of places where it is raining quite heavily just over the other side of the valley um, this cloud here is looking a bit ominous and there's a few spots of rain so so near and yet so far we'll see if my luck's in um, it would be good to get the tent up in the dry uh, if I can. So, I've just got a right royal soaking. Uh, rain was bouncing about two feet off the ground for about 30 seconds there. Um, Fortunately, it's kind of gone off now. Hopefully it's uh, not wheedled its way right through my backpack. But uh, yeah, typical. Last blooming kilometre and it chucks it down. Um, there's been a few other rumbles, but I think that's it passed overhead, thankfully. Um, so this is us, just coming into uh, I think it's clouding, I can't remember now, uh, brain's frazzled. <laughs> anyway, that is pretty much the end of uh, day four. Um, and I, it's been a good day, hot again from lunchtime. Um, But uh, yeah, uh, a couple of the Spine Race volunteers who were actually at the campsite last night, um, they uh, 
sorted me out with a cup of tea and uh, some juice which was really appreciated a uh, cup of tea went down fantastically uh, stopped and had a chat which was really nice so uh, if you see this guys thank you so much that was awesome really oh, another bang there uh, really was awesome a couple of bottles of Lucozade which have helped massively as well anyway this is getting a bit tricky as a knackered so uh, I think I'll maybe call that a day